Hi, and welcome to the DSLR training course. This is unit one. We're going to talk about what's in the bag when you first sign out one of these kits. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. So when you first open the bag, you're going to see lots of cool equipment. Let's lay it out on the table so we can see it better and talk about what everything's for. The first thing you'll notice is probably the camera. These are Canon T5Is. In the top right of the screen, you'll see the battery charger and charger cable. To the left of that, you'll see two lens caps. These screw on the ends of the lens and onto the camera body when there's no lens attached. They're used to keep dust out of the camera body and out of the lenses when they're not being used. You won't need to worry about using these at all because the lens is always going to be attached to the camera. To the left of that, you'll see the camera's battery, which is currently attached to the yellow battery case. The battery case clips onto the battery when it's not being used to protect the battery leads. To the left of the battery, you'll see a small cable. This is a USB cable that you can use when you want to transfer any photos or videos from the camera onto the computer. And the last piece of equipment you'll see is the neck strap. The neck strap should always be worn whenever the camera is being used, unless it's mounted on a tripod. To charge the battery, plug the battery cable into the battery charger. Then plug the cable into the wall, and the last step is to plug the battery into the charger. There are two lights on the charger. If the charge light is lit orange, your battery is charging. If the full light is lit green, then your battery has finished its charge and you can unplug it. The battery compartment is located on the right underside of the camera. Just open the door, slide the battery in until it clicks, and close the door behind it. One thing to note about the battery is that when it's not being used, it should be removed from the camera. The reason for this is that the camera will absorb some of the charge even when the camera's not on, so removing the battery will preserve overall battery life. There are two things you should consider when buying an SD card, their storage size and their class. The larger the storage size, the more content it can hold. 32 gigabytes is a good size if you're going to be recording a lot of video. An SD card's class indicates its read and write speeds. Read and write speeds simply mean how fast data can be written and read from a card. You'll need a class 10 SD card to use with these cameras because of the high data transfer rates when recording in HD. On the right side of the camera is the SD card slot. Just slide the door back and then open it. Whenever you have equipment checked out, it's your responsibility to keep it safe. So just make sure, whenever you're not using any of the equipment, to keep it in the case where it'll be safe. <laughs> 